Um, without any further ado, I want to go ahead and turn the camera around and go into Power Editor and show you guys exactly how to do um, this, what we call stockpile method and how you can utilize it for your business. So I'm going to flip the camera. We're going to go into, um, it's kind of a dummy, kind of a brand new account where we just kind of test things out. Um, so I'll be showing you guys in that account. Um, and here we go. Let's turn it around. Okay, cool. So first and foremost, you can see um, we're in Power Editor. Right now we're under the ad. So if you look at the hierarchy, there's your campaign level, there's your ad set level, there's your ads level, right? So you see I created this test um, ad here real quick, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, right? Because this is where the stockpile method really, really takes effect and where it works so well so what we're gonna do um, and the reason that what we're doing now is instead of creating multiple ads for each ad set that we create and the ad sets where you control your budget as well as your audience so you'll generally want to run different ad sets you know with different audiences maybe different budgets and whatnot and for the most part the ad that we run is usually the same ad. And in this case, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how all of your traffic will flow into one ad, no matter which ad set you're using or whatnot and why it works so well. That's because what's happening is instead of splitting the audience up, they might be it might be the exact same ad, the copy, the image, but you're using a different ad for each ad set. And so all those likes, all those shares, all those comments, are going on each individual ad instead of, and what I'm gonna show you, how to get all of those to one ad. So you get, instead of dividing your efforts, you're getting kind of a stockpile focus of likes, comments, and shares all on one ad. And see, the value and the benefit of this is, it's, it's the bandwagon effect. So when people see large numbers of likes, comments, and shares, well, that's gonna make them more likely to engage, like, comment, and ultimately, hopefully, they'll share your ad because when people share an ad, that's like the most valuable thing you can get out of one of your one of your uh, peeps is because they share it, and now what happens is, is you're going to be able to get free organic reach, free organic traffic because they're sharing your ads. So all of this is gonna work to show you exactly how to drive all of your traffic to one particular ad. And it works really, really well if, like if you're doing a launch or something and you turn an ad on and it's going on and it runs about two weeks, it gets tons of buildup. And then in like four or five months from now, instead of restarting when you're doing that same launch or offer that same product, you would want to use that same exact ad again but what would happen is if you just paused it and then unpaused it in Facebook, you'd create some issues with the algorithm and ad budget and the way that uh, Facebook optimizes that ad. So this is gonna allow you to continue to stockpile and then use these same ads over again when you're doing something similar or doing the same launch. So let's go in here. So now we're in the ad level, right? And so the place that we want to be focusing, let me angle the camera down just a little bit. So when you go in, initially it gives you the option to create an ad, right? So that's what you do. You click normally, it would default to this. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click use existing posts. Now in this area, you have three options. You have this option here, and you can just select from just an existing post that's already on your business page. You can click the plus sign, and that would actually create a new post that would post on your ad, and you'd be, I mean, that would post on your page, and you'd be able to use that as your ad. But what we're gonna focus on here is this little enter post ID thing that most people never see, never notice, or even know what the heck does that even mean? Because I know for months I saw it, I had no idea what it was and overlooked it until we actually looked at it and decided to figure out what it was and how could we utilize it. So what we're gonna do is every single ad, every post, everything you put out on Facebook has a unique number attached to it. That's what this is asking for here. So I'm gonna show you how to get that unique number. So we're gonna go over here. Let me just kind of turn this so you can see better, All right? So we're gonna go up to the top. Now this is an ad that was run. This is actually um, the post that I ran yesterday, just letting you guys know that I was gonna be going live. So what I'm gonna do is now that it, and because you only can do this with a post that's already been posted. So you can't like create an ad 
and then try to do it again without it actually being live and having run. So you have to use something that's run already. So you, 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 I take this, and this is the post that I created yesterday. You go up to links, right? And then you click on the one that says view Facebook post with comments. And now it's gonna open up a new window in Facebook, right? There's the post, you see the post, there's some comments, some likes, all kinds of whatnot, right? Now up at the top is the URL string, right? And you can see it says business.facebook, there's a number, then there's post. The number that you want is this second group of numbers right here. You wanna go ahead and grab this number right here. It ends at the question mark, click copy. Now you see there's two strings of numbers. It's not the first string, it's the string that comes up after the word posts. That is the unique post ID number. Now you're gonna come back into Facebook. Here we are, we're back in Power Editor, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the side, right? Where we've got our test ad. We're gonna open the ad up, right? And I'm gonna show you this. It's a little challenging to keep everything steady and posted. Now, nothing's ever been created under this ad, right? I just turned, I just created it, called it test, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose a page that we want to run it to and we're just going to select marketing your purpose boom so give us some options now again like i told you it defaults to create ad but what we're going to do is we're going to click use existing post and it gives us those same options i showed you now we're going to do enter post id and we're going to paste in that number that we copied and we're going to click submit and voila there's the post. It's got all the likes, the comments, whatever it is that were attached to it before. Bam, and now we can run an ad to this existing post. And this is gonna work to get all of our efforts, all the likes, all the comments, all the shares, they're all going to build up on this one post. Now, think about how awesome that's gonna be for you. Instead of if I wanted to run this same ad before, but I wanted to run it to, let's say I wanted to run it to like Lisa Sasevich's audience, or I wanted to run it to Infusionsoft's audience. Well, it would be the same ad, but it would be, it would be the same copy, the same image, but it would run one ad to Lisa's audience, one ad to Infusion, and it would be dividing all the likes, the comments, all the social proof would be broken up across those different ads because they were different, whereas this way, it's gonna focus all of that traffic attention on this one ad. It's genius, it works incredibly well. It's something that Robin and I have been utilizing in both our info business, as well as e-commerce, to get massive amounts of stockpiled of likes, comments, shares, good amount of traffic, and it's working really well. So I'm gonna turn. And, so here I am. So, now I wanna see if, if you guys that are watching have any questions. Um, let me know who's here. Hopefully you're digging this. If you have any questions about it, about the technical side, how does it work? Um, I'd love to answer those questions. Um, but the cool thing about this is you can literally right now, right now, as soon as I get off this video, go into your Facebook Power Editor, do this, take one of your ads, try it and get it working, and I guarantee you're gonna see really, really good results from it. And you're gonna be like, wow, this, this is extremely powerful. I shared this the other day in our Facebook group and uh, people had just initially started using it and they loved, they were blown away because it's such kind of a, it, it seems so simple, right? It's such a small little kind of just little hack, but the power and the implications of what it can do for your business are huge. So this is kind of an example of just one of the many just hacks and just strategic directions that Rob and I utilize that we teach and help our students with in our Funnel Fanatics program. And if you've heard about it or you've heard us talk about it or maybe been exposed to it, um, it's definitely something you want to check out. You can get a little more info at marketingyourpurpose.com forward slash special and learn more about the program. So hopefully that helped you guys. Um, I'd love to know who's here, where you guys are joining in from, what you thought of what I was sharing, if you're going to go out and do it, if you have any questions about it, hit me up down there below. And like I said, this is our first um, live video here on our actual business page. So keep your eyes open. We're gonna be doing these a lot more often. I wanna do actual strategic sharings, um, you know, just helping you guys with things that you can actually walk away from the live videos, go implement them and start seeing results in your business. So 
If there's anything specific you'd like us to talk about or share about or teach about on a live video, we'd love to hear your ideas. Just share on our post. You can send us a message. Um, and we'll, we'll do our best to make sure that we can um, do a video around that and help you guys out. So um, I'm not seeing any questions or comments. Again, I know this is kind of new. Um, this is our first time doing it on the business page. But I hope you guys got tons of value out of it. Make sure you check out Funnel Fanatics at marketingyourpurpose.com forward slash special. And um, I'd love to hear you, the results and um, what you guys are getting out of utilizing this little stockpile method hack in your Facebook ad. So thanks for joining me. And we will catch you guys on the next one.